watching 696 for about an hour and only seen a small handful of vehicles with ice and snow still left on the car. Most seem to have invested the time in scraping it off, which is why the family in this vehicle you see behind me is not only thankful to be alive, but really upset at what they went through today. Yeah, it was scary. Really scary, especially having a new baby in the car. Amanda McDonough was driving with her two month old baby westbound on 696 Saturday morning. We were driving behind a minivan. I saw one little piece of ice come off. I changed lanes to get away, and his whole, whole sheet came off and just shattered our windshield. The impact sent glass flying towards them, littering the dashboard. Fortunately, no one was hurt, and Amanda was able to maintain control and pull over. The other driver pulled over too. And he got out of the car and said it wasn't his problem. And he had a temporary plate on and he took off. Shaken, scared, and now mad, she turned to the police for help. But the police said it wasn't the guy's fault either. But I was always under the impression when you're driving, you're supposed to clear your vehicle of obstructions. The driver think? said it wasn't his responsibility because it was snow and you can't prevent snow. Okay, so you can't prevent snow, but you can get rid of it. Pretty easily, in fact, and affordably. I bought this scraper brush combo for just $3.99. So $3.99 is all it costs to keep you safe on the road and those around you safe. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.